Hey everybody, it's the Burger Dude, and today we're making a vegan breakfast burrito that I gotta say might be the best one I've ever eaten. You see, I modeled this burrito after one of the most iconic breakfast burritos in Los Angeles. In fact, it's right here in Burbank at a place called The Corner Cottage. And people line up for hours for this burrito, and it shows up on every best breakfast burritos in LA list, and for good reason. Now, as far as breakfast burritos go, it's pretty standard. You got your eggs, potatoes, cheese, some kind of meat, usually sausage, bacon, or steak. But what really puts this burrito on the map is the salsa. As I did my research into the salsa, it seems like people couldn't decide if it was just tomatoes and jalapenos or if there was onions and cilantro in there as well. I tried making versions of both and I actually found that the tomato and jalapeno one to be more like what I remember. So let's go ahead and start with that. All you need is one tomato for every two jalapenos. We're gonna give them a rough chop, and for the jalapenos, keep the seeds. The salsa is spicy, but it's not like a ridiculous hot sauce that lingers forever. You'll feel a quick little kick, and then it'll subside just in time to take another bite. For the tomatoes, you wanna get rid of all the seeds and tomato guts. I also dabbed it with a paper towel to get it as dry as possible. You want this salsa to be kinda of chunky without too much liquid. And now once we have our tomatoes and peppers roughly chopped, we'll add them to a food processor along with some salt and pepper to taste. And then we're gonna pulse that until we have a consistency, something like this. And like I said, this stuff is spicy, but don't be scared. In fact, I used to order this by having them put the salsa on the inside of the burrito, as well as getting some on the side to dollop every bite with. Now that we got our salsa, let's do our potatoes. You could totally use frozen hash browns or even something like this, but making hash browns from scratch isn't too difficult or time consuming either. I'm gonna take a russet potato, peel it, and then grate it. I recommend getting a glove like this if you're like me and have anxiety about shaving off your knuckle. And now usually recipes call for you to soak and rinse the potatoes after grating, but I saw a video by Ethan Shablowski where he said that the step is largely useless except for keeping the potatoes from oxidizing and slightly changing color. So I skipped that step and Ethan was right, these turned out fantastic. After it's been grated, I'm gonna pat them dry with a towel, then wrap them up, and I'm gonna squeeze out as much of that potato juice as I can, and then I'm gonna pat them dry again, and now they are ready to be fried up. So get a pan with some oil, heat it up, add your hash browns, spread them out nice and evenly, and then season with whatever you like. I'm just doing some salt, pepper, cayenne, and smoked paprika, and then you're gonna let them sit undisturbed for about six to eight minutes, Check them around then, and then if they seem brown, grab your skillet, and then, with confidence, flip your hash browns just like that, or you can use a spatula, whatever you're comfortable with. And then all we gotta do is cook them on the other side for another six to eight minutes. If you wanna show off, you can flip the hash browns again. And now normally I would just scoot them to the side and cook my sausage and eggs in the same pan, but since I'm filming this, I'll be doing them separately for demonstration purposes. Speaking of the sausage, let's get going on that. You could totally use some store-bought vegan sausage like these, or you could do what I'm gonna do and season some plant-based meat for our breakfast sausage seasoning. Let's start with a teaspoon of garlic salt, half a teaspoon of ground sage, half a teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, cayenne to taste, and then some black pepper to taste. We're gonna stir that up, and then we're gonna crumble up our plant-based meat then we're gonna add in that spice mix along with about a tablespoon of maple syrup. And you're gonna give that a mix and then we are good to go. So heat up some oil in a pan over medium heat and just cook your breakfast sausage until browned and tasty. This should only take about six to eight minutes or so. Just make sure you let it sit undisturbed for a few minutes and then stir it up so we get some nice brown bits. Now obviously this is way more than I need for one burrito, but now I have leftovers and I can either heat it up tomorrow for another burrito or use it in a breakfast taco or you can make a bunch of burritos and freeze them for later, whatever you like. Now once you're happy with it, set that aside and now let's do our vegan eggs. So normally I just use just egg for this, but I realize not everyone has access to it or wants to use it. So let's make a quick tofu scramble as well. For this, I really highly recommend investing in a tofu press. I see a lot of folks using their cast iron pans or encyclopedias to press tofu. And for me, spending about 15 to 20 bucks was really worth it, especially if you cook tofu on a weekly basis. So I'm gonna press this block of tofu for about 20 minutes. Once it's done, we're gonna crumble it into a bowl. And usually we'd season it with like salt, pepper, tomato, onion and garlic powder, but I realized that this adobo seasoning has all of that and more, so I'm just gonna use some of this. And I'm gonna add in about a teaspoon and a half of this adobo, and then a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, some more turmeric for color, some dried chives, you could use fresh, of course, mix that up, and then I'm gonna add in some black pepper, and this was tasting good, so time to get a pan with some oil heated up. 
And this is pretty simple. You really just gotta heat this through and let the spices mingle. I decided on a little bit more turmeric and a bit more salt. And now, because this is pretty crumbly, I'm gonna add in some unsweetened plant milk. And this is not only gonna add some moisture, but it's gonna help disperse the flavors a bit more as well. Now, once it's heated through and reduced to our liking, I'm gonna add in some black salt. And if you're not familiar, this stuff makes a tofu scramble taste like eggs. I've heard you're supposed to add it at the end since cooking it will mute the flavor a bit, so that's why I'm adding it now. And this was super freaking good. This is obviously, again, a lot more than what I need for one burrito, but just like the sausage, we'll have leftovers for tomorrow so we can throw a quick breakfast together again. Now, for the just egg, it's even easier. I'm simply gonna pan fry a bunch of the just egg, add in some black pepper and salt, of course. Some folks add in black salt too, but I opted to let the just egg just be a just egg and this stuff really does cook very similar to non-vegan eggs all we want to do is keep it moving over medium heat and again this is way more than i need for one burrito but i totally ate the leftovers the next day and now this stuff is looking good all we need to do is heat up a tortilla and build our burrito so you can make your tortillas from scratch, but I'm hungry now, so I'm just gonna use a store-bought tortilla. I'm gonna microwave it for about a minute so it's pliable and easy to roll up. And then I'm gonna give it a good schmear of some vegan sour cream. I'm using the Kite Hill stuff. And then I'm gonna lay down half of my hash browns. Next, we're gonna grate some vegan cheese on there. This is a Daya cheddar block. After that, some of our special spicy salsa. And then next up is our breakfast sausage. Some more of that cheese and then our just egg, more cheese if you please, more of that amazing salsa, and then we're gonna add the other half of our hash browns, and at this point, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to roll this big boy up, but I did it with some gusto and gumption, and it turned out fantastic. Now we just gotta give it a cut to reveal an out of focus cross section. Okay, here, there, we fixed it, and now it's time to eat. So let's slowly and dramatically lift it up to our faces. And this thing was just ridiculously delicious. As good as I remember the original from the corner cottage, if not better, because I didn't have to wait in line for an hour like a sucker. And of course we got to spoon on some more of that salsa, but seriously, y'all got to make this burrito. Crispy hash brown, seasoned sausage, fluffy vegan eggs, that salty cheddar poking right through. And of course that amazing tomato and jalapeno salsa rounding it all out. I just can't stress enough how amazing this thing was. In fact, it's the next day as I'm recording this and I'm gonna use my leftovers to make another one right now. And if you do make this burrito, let me know how it goes. Tag me in your photos on Instagram. I love to see it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.